Good morning. It is April 17th, 2021. This is El Hay, a subarctic beekeeper, one of the many. It is about 33 degrees Fahrenheit today, this morning. There's ice on everything. Not much new to that. I um, moved the three-quarter inch plywood away from the front of the highs. The temperature is supposed to go up to near 60 degrees Fahrenheit today. I just filled a water container for them. So as they come on the highway, they have fresh water. Nothing frozen. The open pollen feeders are set out right in front of the entrances. And I'm walking around, seeing what's going on here, seeing if anybody's going to come out right now. Doesn't look like they want to. I wouldn't either if I was an insect. I'm also moving the entrance reducers out. My hives are polystyrene. I do have some wood hives. There's a girl right now that I use in case of emergency. So I have some wood hive reducers and some hive reducers that came with the hives. Just had a girl come out of hive number... One, as soon as I move the entrance reducer out of the way, it's always a good sign. And the ladies have open pollen in front of them. They have water, fresh water. They have some sugar cake in the hive. They have some one-to-one -one ratio sugar to water, sugar syrup. I added some citric acid to it and some essential oils, lemongrass and spearmint specifically. As you can hear, the crunch, we've got about three feet of snow still. I expect that'll mostly be gone in the next few days. The temperatures are supposed to get up to 60 for today and tomorrow, and then 50 degrees Fahrenheit for the rest of the week. Sun's blazing. Not a cloud in the sky. It's gorgeous here. I need to move the empty frames and the frames of drawn comb and leftover pollen and bee bread from the greenhouse into the bee barn as the summer comes in, which will be in the next couple months. Flying critters will go into the greenhouse to access those frames, even though I've got them in secured containers. I want to move all that stuff into the bee barn so I don't have to worry about wasp invasion. Last year was a rough year with wasps. They went after all the colonies, all the hives, all the equipment, and us. Don't want that to happen again. I think it was just a high wasp year, but whatever I can do to keep them away is going to be a good thing. Well, I hope you have a good day, and we'll see you later.